I'm an artist and I connect technologies, man and science or humans and science. I studied architecture and city planning. And in fact, uh, when you learn city planning, what you do is somehow you create today a planning that needs to be efficient in about 50 years or 100 years from now. So I very quickly decided I, I was going to make art instead of city planning because there's a kind of uh, time issue that is kind of frustrating with city planning. I, I could express myself in a more fluid way and also have a response for it from the audience. Uh, quite quickly through art and I still today in fact it was 17 years ago and still today I still have uh, that will to share potential evolution of our societies through my art so I really mix physical tangible experiences with uh, immaterial worlds what I wanted to do is create an artwork that would combine art technology and humanity so that we could uh, understand that we are totally interconnected with nature because in fact we are part of nature we're not separated from nature but also show that our technologies that's also symbolize our future can help us reconnect with nature and that's uh, in fact how the inspiration for the project One Heart One Tree came so I decided to create a monumental artwork on the Eiffel Tower for the opening of COP21 so the Eiffel Tower was transformed into a virtual forest through projection mapping technologies and it was connected to uh, an application, a smartphone application. So anybody could download the application and you would put your finger on the phone's camera. I recorded your heartbeat. It gave birth to a unique virtual tree in 3D. And then you could see your tree growing on the, uh, on the Eiffel Tower at the rhythm of your heartbeat associated with your message. And for every virtual tree growing on the Eiffel Tower, a real tree has been planted in a reforestation program. The future is the one we create. Everything is possible. We can do anything with our technologies. It's somehow the extension of our consciousness. So th creating that kind of artwork is also the possibility of creating one possible use of technology that would differ from the official use that would be done with those technologies. And I think it's really important to uh, find many different inspiration to all feel responsible for our collective future because most of the time, especially in the context of the COP21, for example, uh, people think that the government are going to solve it. But no, that's not what is happening. In fact, it's up to us. We all need to take action. Today we are moving from a pyramidal society into a more horizontal society. So we need also to be very humble about what we think about progress and what we wish to others. Thank you.